everybody, Dr. Sadowitz here. I've got another quick video for you, which I think you'll find interesting. So this sort of request does come up occasionally, and it's everybody's favorite study. The techs love to do this one. It involves giving rectal contrast. Okay, so yes, obviously I was kidding. Most techs don't like doing this, but hey, it happens. We, we have to sometimes because uh, patients are sick, they have lots of surgeries, and a lot of times we're using this sort of study to evaluate some sort of uh, anastomosis, right? You have two pieces of bowel that were sewed together by a surgeon, and now the surgeon wants to see if there's a hole, right, if there's a leak. Okay, and so what we can do uh, in radiology is we bring these patients in, and unfortunately, we do have to place a rectal tube for this. And we're going to go over the rectal tubes. I'm not going to show you pictures, your text. You guys know these things, right? So a lot of times, you'll use the same rectal tube that you use for like a barium enema study, right? It's a kind of a big tube, and it has a balloon that you can blow up or not blow up. Uh, other options, though, are something called like a red rubber catheter, which is basically a Foley catheter without a balloon, or you could simply use a Foley catheter to run the contrast in. And then, I guess after that, like we have some considerations for how do you mix up the contrast? Well, I'll give you a real, real simple solution. What we do at our institution, we do a 3% solution, right? We mix... Uh, 30 cc's of gastrographin with a thousand cc's of water, right? And that gives you your 3% solution. However, you know, sometimes we make up a liter bag, sometimes a two liter bag, depending on, I guess, where we want the contrast to get to. So if you're just looking at the left side of the colon, you can probably get away with a liter bag. If you need it to go all the way to the cecum, well, you probably have to mix up a two liter bag. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let me just give you some details on this case to make it kind of interesting. So this patient had a low anterior resection, and that's, a, I guess, a relatively low anastomosis. You can see it here. You have these sutures coming across where the two pieces of bowel were sewed together. All the white stuff in the middle, obviously, is the contrast, right? So we, we gave it through the rectum, and we want to see if it's leaking out. So none of it's leaking out, which is great. Okay, now here, here's the request came from the surgeon that said, put the contrast in, obviously through the tube, but then remove the tube and scan the patient. Now, why do you think he said that? I'll give you a minute to think about it. Okay, that's long enough. All right, so he said that because he didn't want the balloon, right, that we sometimes blow up, like in the rectum, to obscure the anastomosis, right? Or to, let's say the balloon was up against the surgical site, right, where the sutures are. Well, then that can sometimes prevent a leak from happening when there's actually a leak there, right? You can imagine the balloon being blown up in this area and sealing off a leak and then us you know, giving a read like, no, we didn't see a leak. Well, that wouldn't be the case, right? So that's why he was concerned. He wanted us to take the catheter back out after we put the contrast in. So I guess you could do that, right? We, we did it in this case to honor his request, but you really only need to do that if the anastomosis is really low. We're talking like just above the anus, right? Because there's no way this rectal tube is going to reach way up here, okay? We didn't have to do it in this case. We did it. Everything worked out fine. Other options, though. Other options, if you don't want to remove the catheter, you just, you don't have to blow up the balloon, okay? You can use the big uh, rectal tube that you normally use for barium enemas and just not blow up the balloon. Now, if there is a low anastomosis, really low, like almost near the anus, and you don't want to place that kind of larger rectal tube like you use for barium enemas, well, that's okay. You can use a Foley catheter or that red rubber catheter and then just not blow up the balloon either. And you can run a contrast that way. So those are some great options for you guys to consider talking over with the radiologist to answer these sort of clinical questions, which we do every day at our hospital. We cut, you know, not every day is routine and things come up that we haven't seen before. And sometimes we have to problem solve on the spot. And sometimes we get weird requests from, you know, referring physicians and we do our best to answer those questions when asked to. Okay. So, Hey, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button and ring the bell, right? Because this way 
you can get notified when new videos are sent out, and I'm trying to make these as educational as possible. And I, I really appreciate it. it. It really helps the, I guess, the traffic going to my channel, gives me some more recognition, and I'm, you know, obviously not charging anything for these videos. I just want to get the message out there. Okay, next thing. If you still haven't downloaded the imaging prep guide, okay, please go ahead and do that. It's at www.imagingprepguide.com. So, I M A G I N G P R E P G U I D E dot com. All right, just spelled out, no punctuation in there, uh, no hyphenation or anything. It's a free guide. Hey, everybody likes free stuff. Download it, read it. I mean, it's going to really help you understand more in radiology all the different imaging modalities we, uh, that I get into in that guide. And you can print it out and uh, or just read it on the, uh, I guess, right on the website or right on your phone late at night. It'll help put you to sleep, all that good stuff, right? Anyway, it's, it's, it's a free guide. Um, I, I know it's going to help, especially the new techs getting into CT and an X-ray. I mean, this is stuff you're going to have to learn anyway in your career. You might as well learn it from me. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.